Voice commands. Hmm. Set ludicrous mode. Darn. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So Tesla released another update and so a big part of the update was voice commands. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a few of my favorites and a couple different resources where you can find all the different voice commands that people have found so far. Let's get into the video. Thanks for watching another video. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I just got this Tesla Model 3 and I make videos about my experience, including a weekly autopilot video in Los Angeles traffic. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So I actually like some of the voice commands because it can save you a few clicks or a few fingerprints from your screen. Cause you can turn on some of the features without diving through the menu through a couple different screens and saving you a few different clicks. Before I get into the voice commands that I particularly like, there's actually a crowdsourced Google Sheets that goes over all the different voice commands and you can submit some that you've also found. I'll, I'll paste a link below to that Google Sheet and they actually create an app from that Google Sheet with all the different commands that you can use as well. The first command that I particularly like is you can use your voice to search anything on Google. Google Rick and Morty. The second set of commands have to do with the seat warmers. My butt is cold. Eject passenger seat. You can turn on your own, you can turn on your passengers, or you can turn on all of them. The next set I like are the child locks or the window locks. Having two corgis that always ride in the back seat, I'm constantly turning on the window locks and the child locks so they don't accidentally open the doors or roll down the windows. Turn on child locks. Turn on window locks. Voice commands are pretty awesome because if you wanted to enable the child locks, you would have to go into settings, go to locks, then go to window lock or child lock. So using your voice saves you about three different clicks or four different clicks, and it's a lot safer on the road. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video and comment below some of your favorite voice commands that save you a lot of steps while you're driving by turning on some of the features by only using your voice. Love to hear what you guys think. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.